And this week, we get to jump into something I think is pretty interesting. We get to jump into the topic of baptism, which really, for me, and the reason I think it's interesting, there's so many different thoughts on it, right? There's so many different thoughts on what baptism is and what it should look like and what it should be. Different religions say different things and different denominations say different things and different people say different things over the person that they're baptizing. And and there's all these different thoughts on it. And so sometimes there's like a little bit of tension with that, right? Sometimes there's a little bit of tension of what is baptism? Is it the sprinkling of a baby when they're born? Is it the emergence later in life? Is it this public proclamation of what Jesus has done in your life and through your life and there's kind of this tension and sometimes we don't even know where that lies right like what is what is the beauty of baptism is it what the pastor says when he dunks the person is it what the person is doing that they are saying man I want to like change my life from this day forward I I believe that Jesus has done amazing things and I want to make this public is there something magical about like the water like what is it And so it creates like this tension. But I think no matter what, we also understand that there's like a certain amount of sacredness to it. There's like a certain amount of of beauty in the symbolism that is baptism. That there's like something that's being washed away, there's something that's being made new, that there's something different when you come out of the water. But what does this whole idea hinge on? It hinges on Jesus. Like everything rest on Jesus. It's all about Jesus. And I think it's so interesting that sometimes we, we, we get caught up in, in like the act that we're about to do. And that's amazing. I'm so grateful that there's so many of us in here that will eventually get baptized, right? There's a lot of us in here that have been baptized. There's several of us in here that will be baptized in a couple of weeks. There's some of us in here that are still in kind of deciding mode, which I hope that this opens up something in your heart and you think about it. But we get so caught up in the act that we'll do or we did, and really, it has nothing to do with what we will do or what we did. It's all about Jesus. And does like this interesting metaphor with Noah being saved, right? And who saved Noah? God did. And he used this object of water for like a cleansing of the earth and ultimately for salvation with Noah. But the idea is not that baptism saves, right? Baptism saves in the sense that it shows that you believe in this, that you, that you want to take that step, that you have given your life to Christ. But it's really the representation of God saving us. It's really the representation of, of Jesus saving us. It's really something that happens within our soul. Like we, we should be baptized, right? We should follow the simple understanding. I'm always under the impression that if Jesus is willing to do it, you should do it too, right? If Jesus thought it was a good idea to be baptized, you should too. But number one, you should fully understand what you're doing. You should understand that this is a moment of life change. This is a moment of soul change. This is not simply a a moment where I'm gonna be dunked into some probably freezing cold water, but this is a moment where my life will forever be changed. Man, it is not so much about the baptism. It's not so much about the being dunked in the water. It's not so much about the sprinkling of the water. It's not so much about the words that are said while you're dunked in the water and how long you're dunked because sometimes people need longer. Like, it's not about any of that. It's about how does your life change when you come out of the water. In many ways, he's saying, you can be baptized all day long, that's great. But if your life doesn't change, what's the point? Maybe an easier way for us to say it is you can put Christian or Christ follower or whatever you want on Facebook, but if your life doesn't change, what does it matter? You can tell people you you love Jesus, you can tell people you're a Christian, but if your life doesn't change, does it really matter? All this is, when we just dunk you, that's just an act of what God is doing in you. It's all about inward, it's all about you. But when you come out of the water and you give your life away to the world, suddenly it's a very good representation of Jesus, isn't it? All of a sudden it goes from inward to outward. And I'll give what I have, and I'll love, and I'll serve, 
I'll let the Spirit move me and guide me. We will change the world.